So you want to know if robot vacuums are worth it. Do they really work? And if so, which one is right for you? Well, you're in the right place. We've tested quite a few robot vacuums in all kinds of price ranges, and this video will give a brief overview of everything we've learned, and I'll link a few of our favorites as well as our big robot vacuum competition video in the description below. Let's get started. In terms of quality of vacuuming, we found that at least on hard floors, robot vacuums are as good or even better than most upright vacuums. For example, most uprights have trouble with larger debris on hard floors, but every single robot vacuum we've tested, no matter the price, did excellent with larger debris on hard floors. I should mention here that robot vacuums often have a low and a high power setting, and it's better to run them on high power with hard floors, especially if they are a cheaper robot vacuum, as having a higher airflow is important for getting fine debris on hard floors. Though more expensive robots like the Roborock S5 or the Neato robot vacuums do excellent on hard floors regardless of their power setting. On carpets, it's a little different. While in terms of pickup ability on carpet, robot vacuums are pretty much amazing across the board, picking up everything they come across from fine debris to pet hair to extra large debris. In other words, they're all pretty much excellent at picking up what's on the surface of the carpet regardless of the price point. However, robot vacuums are not not as good at deep cleaning carpets. We've yet to find a robot vacuum that can get more than 76% of the embedded sand in our deep clean test, where regular upright vacuums usually get between 90 and 100%. For carpet deep cleaning, we found that power is the most important factor. Many robot vacuums are starting to have a feature where they automatically switch to high power when they detect carpet. Probably one of the most important things to consider when trying to decide if a robot vacuum is worth it is the navigation and obstacle avoidance. Because if your robot vacuum is always getting stuck on cords or other clutter in your house, you're probably not going to like your robot vacuum at all. Thankfully, this problem has recently been solved, but it will take a bit of explaining. So all robot vacuums originally were random navigation robots, meaning they kind of pinballed around randomly to clean your home. For this kind of robot, it's really important to buy one with a lot of battery life, so it has time to get the whole house by random means. But now many companies are producing smart navigation robots, which clean in straight, efficient lines, which saves a lot of battery life and makes sure every area of the house gets cleaned. There are three different types of smart navigation robots. The first type are laser navigation robots. These use an invisible spinning laser to accurately map out your home. I prefer this method since it doesn't require the lights to be on in your house to work, and since it's so accurate, it allows you to do more with the app, which will come into play when we talk about the solution to the problem I mentioned earlier. The second type uses a camera, which visually maps out your house. These work great, but the downside is that they do require the lights to be on in a room, and there are, generally speaking, not as many things you can do with it in the app. The third type of smart navigation robot doesn't use cameras or lasers, but fairly standard sensors and computer programming to achieve the same smart navigation results as the camera and laser bot. The upside to these is that they're much cheaper than the laser or camera bots, but they tend to have less app and map options. So about the getting stuck problem. Many robot vacuums, regardless of if they're random or smart navigation robots, have tried to offer some kind of solution to keeping the robot away from areas that you don't want it to go or that it's likely to get stuck. Often manufacturers will include magnetic strips, which will prevent the robot vacuum from going over them, which work fine but are a bit of an eyesore and you don't really get enough to make a difference. Some companies Companies like iRobot offer one or two so-called virtual wall barriers, which emit a signal to keep the robot vacuum from certain areas, which again work great, but only one or two of these doesn't make much of a difference. However, recently the laser bots like the entire Neato Budvac Connected lineup and the high-end Roborock and Echovax D bots have app features where after the robot completes a few jobs and develops a map, you can then draw unlimited lines and boxes on the map in the app to keep the robot from going wherever it's likely to get stuck in your house. This is the future of robot vacuums, in my opinion, as you can finally completely robot-proof your entire house no matter how cluttered it is. You can totally prevent the robot vacuum from getting stuck, which has been an issue since robot vacuums were first introduced. A few final things to keep in mind. The dustbin size is really important. In my opinion, you really want the largest dustbin you can get because the more space you have there, the more it can clean without supervision. Also, you really need to take care of robot vacuums by cleaning the brushes and filters regularly. It's so much more important than with traditional vacuum cleaners because almost every failure on a robot vacuum is directly due to a lack of regular cleaning. So, with all that in mind, I've lately been recommending Neato robot vacuums, not just because every Neato in the BotVac Connected lineup has the cool app feature I was talking about, but also because in all of our tests, Neatos consistently beat out the competition. They're the most powerful, they have the biggest dust bins, and have excellent navigation 
attention and great support. That being said, there are a lot of other good ones out there, and I'll link as many as I can think of in various price ranges in the description. Also check out our competition video on the screen. Consider a like if this video helped you out, and thanks for watching.